Today at World Talks, we'll be joined by the CEO of Thomson Reuters Foundation, Monique Villa. We'll talk about slavery in the 21st century, bonded labor, and sex trafficking. We are in the 21st century yeah. and you are talking about modern day slavery. Yes. Define that term. A slave today is someone who works uh, under coercion or violence or force at no pay above subsistence. It's very simple, very clear. And 40 million of people, more than 40 million, and according to the ILO, which is the UN, so they are very conservative because, you know, they have to check their numbers with each country. According to the ILO, uh, you have 40 million slaves in the world today. It's probable, most probable, that there are many more. It's a very big business, $150 billion a year of profit, pure profit. And uh, nobody is, or very few people are prosecuted for that crime. And it is the most horrendous crime you can imagine, because in the, in the length of human rights, uh, taking someone and treating him as a commodity or as a thing, uh, completely dehumanizing him or her or a child, because 25% of the slaves in the world are children. So it's the most horrendous crime you can imagine. What role does illegal smuggling play? Well, it's absolutely crucial. If, you, if you're recruiting slaves uh, in Nepal, because it's the poorest country in Asia since uh, the earthquake in 2015, uh, you will tell them, I have a fantastic job for you uh, in Qatar, uh, and you will work in an office, etc. But you have to sign your contract in Nepal uh, with your employer in order to have all the permits and the rights to work. So, so you will travel, you will, you will take a loan in order to, to pay the travel and everything, and you have no money obviously because you want to, 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 to make a living for your family. Uh, so you will take a loan and uh, the, the debt uh, is absolutely enormous. It's usually 60% minimum. So it's huge. So you take a loan, you arrive in Qatar, no longer in Qatar less because now Qatar, the only country in, in the, the Gulf. Gulf, is starting to take measures against Finally, that. Finally, after which, years. Which, but I really salute because the others don't yet. So, so you arrive in one of these countries, your passport is taken away, you are put on, 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 uh, on to work on a, a construction site under 55 degrees in summer. You work 15 hours a day and you eat dog food and you are paid from time to time and very little. So this is pure slavery. But you have also a lot. So, so slavery, when you take the 40 million slaves in the world, you have 70% of them which are in forced labor which is this kind of bonded labor. Bonded labor is when you have a debt to refund. So of course you have to work because you have the debt to refund. You don't have your passport, how would you come back home? So, you know, it's completely, um, uh, complete real slavery. 30% uh, of the slaves in the world are in sex trafficking. The one which makes the most money is sex trafficking, of course, because uh, it, it, it is, you can resell a woman or a boy uh, 30 times a day. So it's pure, uh, pure profit. Uh, and if you don't pay them, it, 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 it's the ideal solution. So many smugglers in drug smuggling are now moving to also sex trafficking, uh, according to all the specialists. So this is a growing business. The big difference between slavery 100 years ago or 200 years ago, uh, you were a slave for life. Today you are a slave as, as long as you're good. So as soon as you get sick or you get uh, no useful anymore, you are dumped in a kind of twilight world where you don't know.